What is going on guys? It is the Anime Jaguar here, or you can call me AJ for short if that is a tongue full for you. And today, we're going to do the filming locations of the Truman Show here in Seaside, Florida, or Santa Rosa Beach, whatever you call it. It's the same to me. And Truman Show came out in 1998, starring Jim Carrey and Ed Harris, along with a few other people you might be familiar with. And Peter Weir was the director, the same guy who directed Dead Poet Society with Robin Williams. But here today, we're we're here to talk about the Truman Show, and we're going to be at the first location. And this is an obscure one, one that you probably wouldn't know unless you looked it up on the internet like I did. So let's just get started with the filming locations. Hopefully you learned some things you didn't know about the Truman Show. We're at the Point Washington boat ramp here in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. Not technically seaside, but you can call it seaside if you want to. And this was staged as Harbor Island Ferry Terminal in the Truman Show movie. And this was used for the scene when Truman is trying to overcome his fear of drowning due to his father's tragic death. And like I said earlier, this is completely different now than it was 22 years ago in 1998. And here, um, here's a better look at it. Just a little look over here. And they filmed some other stuff here over here too, but this is the main thing they filmed for that particular scene where he tries to overcome his fear of drowning. And I will try not to spoil too much of the movie, but I recommend you watch the movie before you watch this video. So push watch later if you haven't seen the movie and then come back later on. Very still here, huh? But I might have missed it. One way or return? Return. All right, now we're here at the Truman House and this is served as Truman's home, and this is where he says his now infamous line. Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> it still has the number from the movie in the front door, and after he greets his neighbors, the dog attacks him. Let me say, gotta walk a little bit. The dog attacks him around here. You'll see that footage in just a minute. Someone actually lives here now. Truman! Morning, Spencer! <laughs> hey, Pluto. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, get down. He won't hurt oh. you. Get down! <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just me. <laughs> Come on, Pluto! The house still sports the same designs as it did 22 years ago. However, you may not recognize the house the way it appeared in the film. <laughs> The lush garden of native plants from the house has been restored, and the film set designers had replaced it with a carpet of Kentucky bluegrass to make it look more like a typical home in suburbia. So this is Truman's home, and there are also a few other scenes filmed here, and I will sh you'll see that in just a moment. But this is where Truman lived. This is a real place you could stop by, but be careful. People actually live here. I'll not stay here much longer, but this is Truman's house in the movie. Here's another angle of the public square, and this is where we were first introduced to Sea Haven. It's the perfect version of small town Americana, and director Peter Weir's wife felt the same way when she scouted Seaside before it become the hit movie. This is what we can see. It's from a different angle, but you can figure it out for yourself. about the pearls of flying. Settle back and let this music calm you down. We are now at Coleman Tower, and this landmark can be seen multiple times throughout the movie. Jim Carrey's car pulls up, and this can be seen behind them. And during the holidays, Seaside strings the entire tower with white lights. Year-round, it serves as public beach access to all. Okay, about that, folks. I guess we picked up a police frequency or something. It sometimes happens, and it can drive you crazy. Okay, it's classical climb back in here, and we've still got some great music up ahead. But hey. Once the home of Sea Haven Life and Casualty, this quiet park is surrounded by small boutiques and art galleries. An intricate gate now shelters the park entryway, and the Life Casualty building site is now home to small rolling hills and a trail that snakes through oak and pine trees. Inside this gate right here, 
was the facade of where Truman works. Okay, hey, that's two for one. That's a good deal. Yes. Doppelganger special. Nice. This is used for the scene when Jim Carrey's walking to work and two guys push him against the wall in front of the Kaiser chicken advertisement. The wall is not here anymore, but this is where they filmed that scene. And I can tell because of this. This was in a movie and it still remains today. Good morning, Truman. Hey, how are you guys? Beautiful day, isn't oh, it? Always. Uh, and how's your lovely wife? Good. Is the Rubio Architect side. Not a real business, but it's still here from the film. It's been here 22 years. They love to hear it. So this is film history right here. You could tell it's not real because in the back, it's nothing. It's nothing. And this was used in the background of the... Hey, fellas, going in? Go ahead. Now we are at Modica Market, the bustling grocery store from The Truman Show. It's clearly as busy as ever, and you can snap your photo in front of an official movie poster if you'd like. Uh, that's inside, so come with me if that sounds interesting to you. Here is the movie poster, the official movie poster from 1998, and they also filmed over here. They also filmed around here somewhere. I don't know the exact spot. I'm sure you could find some spot over here somewhere. But it was a vending machine. Obviously, there's no vending machine in here. So it was obviously made for the film. And they filmed inside here with Ways the Ladder. Here's the poster in Modica Market. It's a real place. You could buy some stuff. There's plenty of stuff when you get here. They get you all set up. It's hard to tell. They look just like regular people. How about those two? I don't know. Could be. We are now at the Tupelo Street Gazebo. When the truth of Truman's situation begins to sink in, Truman panics and begins to drive around and around and around the small gazebo on Tupelo Street. And here's a fun fact that you may not have known. The town founders of Seaside, Robert and Daryl Davis, were married in this exact gazebo. I'm being spontaneous! Truman! <laughs> Forget Fiji! Can't very well drive to Fiji, can we? No. <laughs> what about Atlantic City? Just a few feet away from the gazebo. This was when traffic pulls down in front of him, hindering him from going where he wants. <laughs> Locked at every turn. While I was doing research for the video, I found out that before the Truman Show was filmed here, Seaside was really obscure and no one had really heard of it. They had a hard time attracting tourists to Seaside, and whenever Peter Weir showed interest in filming at Seaside, they were thrilled. They earned a lot of money just from them filming there, and they... There was a new school that also was built. It was, they used the money from the movie to make a school. And they still benefit from this day, 22 years later. And when I was there, it was so busy. I, Especially during COVID, I did not know what to expect crowd-wise. But it was extremely busy. And you would have just thought it was summertime, man. It was, it was booming in Seaside. And that was all thanks to the Truman Show. Peter Weir in the studio paid $60 million to film it all in Seaside. And they did put $60 million to good Thank use. Thank you guys for watching the video. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe to my channel. And there is a filming location video I've done before. I've done Gone Girl filming locations and I've made a playlist. And it should be up here in the link description below if you want to see more filming locations videos. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, let me know in the comment section below. And with that, I'll see you in my next video.